Thanks, guys, for coming by and gals. Thanks to see you all here. I hope everyone's having a good conference. As Patricia said, my name is Greg Shields. I'm the director of Zero Trust Cloud Strategy here at AppGate. I'm excited to be here at RSA again, seeing out, uh, being out in public, seeing folks face to face. It's been lovely. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit this afternoon. Uh, this is going to be short. We're not going to keep you here for a long time, but I want to talk to you a little bit about other places that you might look at implementing a zero trust strategy to protecting your critical infrastructure. Uh, one of the things that we have certainly seen since the pandemic started is a massive rise in the adoption of zero trust for remote access. And we recognize that this was such a great opportunity for an application of AppGate that we had a marketing campaign that was called Kill Your VPN, right? And some of you that are familiar with AppGate may have heard us say that. And we talk about this 20-year-old technology that is outdated, that uses a perimeter security model to secure assets. And we've seen that in today's modern environment where applications live all over the place in different environments and users are all over the place in different environments, that using that big kind of wide open, you have access to everything approach that's fundamental to the way a traditional VPN model works no longer works today. So we've, we've taken that, um, that approach to adopting a new model for remote access. And I think what we've seen since the pandemic started and over the past 24 months is that I think remote work is here to stay. Um, I don't know about you guys, I've been a remote employee since 2005, so I've struggled with VPNs, but now that I'm on an AppGate Zero Trust platform, I know that my data and the applications I'm accessing are a lot more secure, but there are people that are starting to return to the office. Um, you know, we all see in the news that Apple is bringing folks back. I think that Elon Musk just this past week said, everybody's coming back full time. So um, we're, we're, I hate to use a word that's been beaten to death, but I'm going to use it again. We're kind of evolving towards this hybrid model of people being in the office full time, some people being remote full time, and some people being in the office a few days, and some people being out of the office a few days. So that sort of begs the question, does it really make sense to fork your strategy for application access? Why would I pick one technology to secure that access for all of my workers that are remote, that are at home, that are working in a coffee shop, that are traveling to the RSA conference, and then use something completely different like a NAC to secure those same environments, but for people that happen to be on the corporate land? So what we would propose at AppGate is it's time to kill the NAC. And let's just use a zero trust model like AppGates to secure access to resources regardless of where that user is sitting. Are they in a coffee shop or are they in the office? You're securing the same assets and with a context aware product like AppGate, you could see where a person is sitting, whether they're remote, whether they're in the office and then correctly apply the right permissions for them to reach the resources that they need to do their job. And that way you can save a bucket of money by eliminating that NAC. I mean, I think NAC has fallen out of favor so much. I asked our investor analyst person here at AppGate when the last time Gartner did a zero a, a, a quadrant on NAC or something. And I think she told me it was 2014. And we've not seen a whole lot of development in that space. Those products kind of are what they are. There's no growth in that segment. And so we think a large part of that is that folks like us have come along with that zero trust model and allow you to use a single platform. You can have um, the same application security regardless of the network that someone's on, and you can consolidate those cybersecurity budgets all into a single platform. So um, I know some of you have stopped by before. You've seen how AppGate works. So I just want to take a second and show you the way that it works. So when we think about Zero Trust objectively, it doesn't matter if it's AppGate or one of these other folks that are out here that are talking to you about Zero Trust. There's really three central components to them. There's the client, that's the user, that's their device. There is the controller or the policy decision point. And then there is the gateway, the policy enforcement point. Those are the three parts. The way that AppGate works is that these two devices have to have access to a network where when this client wants to make the connection, they need to get to those, those devices. But one of the things we do is we completely mask these from the public internet. We use a technology called SPA, or single packet authorization, that this client will send to that controller, and that's the only thing the controller will respond to. So if you think about something like distributed denial of service attacks, 
uh, when you have something that's visible to the public internet, when it responds, that's when it can be uh, potentially broken into or again made useless by a denial, uh, distributed denial of service attack. Ours only responds to that SPA packet, but once it does, the TLS session is established, and based on the credentials that that client provides to the controller, which is back-end connected to your organization's identity provider, regardless of who that might be, then that client is able to get that token or an entitlement, which allows them to connect through the gateway, also hidden and connected to with a single packet authorization, and we build that network of one that allows that client to reach the specific resource that they need to do their job without reaching the others. Now let me leave you with one important thought that kind of separates us from other providers in this space is that everything we do is direct routed. There does not need to be any sort of uh, cloud or network infrastructure that this person's traffic needs to go through. So this client could be sitting in their cube at a desk with this gateway on the premise that they're looking to reach. They'll get their entitlements by going to the controller, but once they're done with that, they're now completely on the local area network. You don't need to send traffic out of your environment and then come back down like you might have to do with other players in this space who cloud route that traffic. So that's why we believe AppGate is a great solution to replacing your NAC, which is just kind of sitting there burning money if you've got another solution that you've bought anyway for secure remote access on Zero Trust. So that's what I had that I wanted to share with you guys this afternoon. I'm delighted that you've taken a moment to listen to me. Thank you so much. Hope everyone has, everyone has a great show, stays healthy, and we've got all kinds of folks here in the AppGate booth, including me, that would be delighted to chat with you a little bit more about what we do and how we can maybe help your organization get rid of that knack. Oh, you can also email me, and you can do that. Whoops. Right there. So that's how to get in touch with me. So thanks very much, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon.